Welcome to Pleasure 101 with the Shoe and Discrets. I am Amber Mallory, the sexpert and pleasure activist behind Be Shoe and Discrets. And today we are going to be talking to you about pleasure wellness and kind of what exactly that even means. So pleasure wellness is one of our guides and you might be like, what even does pleasure wellness mean? So what we mean by pleasure wellness is kind of at Be Shoe and Discrets, we feel that pleasure is an integral part of our beings. It is something that plays a role in our friendships, in our daily life, in our sexual relationships, in our relationships with ourselves and beyond. Pleasure is kind of part of the full circle that encompasses who we are and how we kind of navigate space. And you may be like, no. <laughs> but I think a lot of people work in the wheelhouse of associating pleasure with sex, but we have pleasure in all sorts of life. I have pleasure by the very fact that I'm sitting and making this video. I have pleasure by the fact that there is sun outside. There's pleasure when I eat ice cream and there's pleasure when I have an orgasm. So pleasure is there. Whether we want to recognize it or not, pleasure is definitely something that is present in our lives. And Honestly, I think we're often taught to ignore pleasure, to kind of be better workers or to be better focused on other things. Because to be honest, if we all live by our pleasure, what do you think this world would really look like? <laughs> So let's talk about my first pleasure wellness tip. So that is going to be communication and self-love. So again, we have these guides and these guides have exercises to kind of challenge you as a person to be more reflective on what your pleasure is, what it looks like, especially for yourself and with a partner. But a great way to do that is through communication. We can communicate with ourselves as much as we can communicate with a partner. So by doing so, start to take notice as you kind of navigate your life, especially your sex life, at what is bringing you pleasure. Is the sex you're having actually giving you pleasure? Are you having more pleasure when you're having sex with yourself? Are you feeling as though something's missing? Are you watching something that you find inspiring and might actually be something worth trying? Kind of take a step back and examine. This kind of may sound like homework and it's not as fun as the other videos that are like, yeah, go throw some lube on and run outside naked and play in the rain. But <laughs> it could be something like this. Really what pleasure is about is kind of just taking note and being mindful and knowing that our pleasure evolves. It's going to evolve as we grow. It's going to evolve as we experience life. It can even evolve by the day. Maybe you're having a bad day and honestly, an orgasm may not make it better. Maybe what will make it better is the pleasure of laying on your couch and hiding from it. So just kind of be reflective and be honest with yourself and communicate with yourself because the better you know your pleasure, the better you're going to be able to communicate that to a partner. So when it comes to communicating our pleasure with our partner, this is best done in the most direct and concisive ways of saying, I like this. I would like to try this. Be open-minded because sometimes the things we want and the things we crave and desire may not be something that our partner wants or desires to give us. And that's definitely okay and that's a completely different conversation. But what is the most integral part of this is being truly honest and clear about what exactly it is you want and need when it comes to pleasure. And the best way to find that is by being satisfied in oneself and knowing exactly what one likes. So I recommend masturbating and masturbating a lot. Now that leads me to my second tip, which is masturbation. The best way to be able to communicate what you like and what you don't like is by finding out yourself. Now, obviously the sex we have with ourselves is not always the sex we have with our partner. And sometimes those can be two completely separate things. But knowing your anatomy how you like it to be touched, where you like it to be touched, how hard, how soft. All of these are very important questions when it comes to pleasure wellness. And it's just great for you to know and to appreciate yourself. So another tip when it comes to pleasure wellness, I recommend people to masturbate. And I recommend people to masturbate as frequently as they feel comfortable doing. And when they feel that little inkling of like, I kind of want to masturbate, but then the time doesn't really seem right or the moment doesn't seem right and you kind of talk yourself out of it. Like when you should go to the gym and you talk yourself out of the gym, I'm going to say challenge yourself not to, to find a space and to be able to just give yourself 10 minutes. Even if you don't have an orgasm, go touch your body, look at your body naked, have erotic moments with your body. These 
in my book are masturbation. Sometimes I just look at myself naked in the mirror and like I get pleasure from that. And so can you, and this builds confidence, this builds communication, and it just makes you overall more comfortable in your skin. And the skin is the largest sexual organ. So when it comes to play, you're gonna wanna know what you like, what are your assets, where you wanna be touched, and the best way to know is through you. So play, look, and admire and adore yourself. So our third and final step is recommending some of the most incredible Bichu and Discrets products that have been created and geared towards enhancing your pleasure. So to start off, that is our Orgasm Glow Supplement. This is a nutritional supplement. It is not a magic pill. It is not going to solve all the problems. What it just kind of does is has key ingredients that address certain types of struggles that we often have when it comes to our sex life, like if we don't have as much blood flow to the genitals, kind of keeping ourselves relaxed, inflammation, all of these types of things, that's what this addresses and kind of work towards. So definitely check out those ingredients and read a little bit more if that's for you. I always will recommend lube. Lube is the key in my book, besides communication, to achieving orgasms, happiness, sexual pleasure, and all of it. Being well lubricated, whether you have a penis, a vulva, whatever your genitals may be, lubricant can only help, especially a lubricant that doesn't have parabens, that doesn't have dyes, sugars, doesn't have alcohol, is osmolality tested, has a balanced pH, everything. This is not that sticky stuff that you put on and it's gross and it's just unattractive, no. This is the end all be all. The hyaluronic acid for me is the end all be all, but all of our own natural lubricants and other lubricants in our range have all been formulated to optimize pleasure and to keep and retain as much of your natural moisture as possible while adding a little bit of ours instead of stripping you of every last bit of your moisture for kind of this superficial temporary lube. I would also recommend any of kind of our serums or erotic type of stuff. So this is like a serum for the clitoris, but you can use it on the penis, you can use it on the nipples, you can use it in sensitive areas just to kind of play and explore and to enhance your pleasure. So this is just a good way to utilize sensation in your own body's pleasure to pleasure you. And finally, a vibrator. I think vibrators are a great way to achieving pleasure. We're often not taught how to masturbate. We're not taught how to play with our bodies, especially when you're someone who has a vulva. If you have kind of these mysterious, as many people like to call them, orgasms or genitals, it's not the case. It's just we are not given the green light to explore it. So if you don't feel comfortable doing it with your fingers or you feel like your fingers are not doing it for you, use a vibe. There are different types of vibrations. Ours usually carry a rumbly vibration versus a buzz. So the best way I explain that is like a buzz is like a bee around a flower, you know, that zzz. But a rumble is like when you get on a motorcycle and that vroom vroom. And for most people, we want that vroom vroom because the clitoris has deeper parts of the body. It's not just what we see on the outside. There's also legs on the inside. So being mindful of that, having something that kind of penetrates more layers is going to be pleasurable. But even if you have a penis, this is great to use for yourself. You can use it on the nipples. There are so many places. A vibrator is not just for a clitoris. It's not just for one type of person. A vibrator is for someone who wants to explore their sexual pleasure. So these are the things I'd recommend. Thank you for turning into Pleasure 101. Definitely check out our website at bestshoeanddiscrets.com. Make a purchase, enhance your sex life, and don't forget to check out our fantastic guides that are free and offered in multiple languages. So go ahead and head there now. Thank you for tuning in.